changes everything. It pulls the rug from under your feet. That's the thing about cancer. You will know someone who's going to go through it. You think it's something that happens to people when they're older. It's not something you really imagine happening to yourself at 40. I met Sam through a friend of a friend. She's one of the gang. Of all the friends, if you want an intelligent conversation, you'd go to Sam. I was at a point in my life where, you know, I wanted to try and start a family and all my sort of hopes and dreams and plans went out the window. Sometimes I'm really aware of the tumour of this thing that's, that's here. I can no longer eat solid food and as the days go on, that's going to get worse. The first thing you ever say, you always want to know about other people. When she found out, she called me, she said, look, it's cancer. We just cried. My family have been absolutely amazing and my mum's been a fantastic support, but having friends close by has made a huge, huge difference and I don't think I could have got through this without them. Paul and Alan have been sort of great at making me laugh at those times when you don't feel much like it. I've had friends who just can't stop crying and I end up consoling, <laughs> consoling them. Friends are there day in, day out, who are cleaning up the blood, who are cleaning up the vomit, giving the medication, the daily things. Your friends are doing it. My only option now is surgery, which involves taking my esophagus out, my voice box out. They take away all the muscles, they cut through your stomach, they cut through all your muscles here. In the short term, do you have a hole in your throat for the rest of your life? I sort of went between feeling totally numb and then utter uncontrollable fear. It feels like I'm having a nightmare. I've woken up, but I'm actually still living in the nightmare. Surviving a 16-hour operation, then even if it all goes wonderfully and is a big success, you still can't speak at the end of it, so... I mean, I don't know how you get your head around that. You're losing something of yourself, your expression, what makes you you. It is hard as a woman, and sometimes I look and the future seems quite bleak. At the age of 40, single, just been told she won't be able to have children anymore because she's just gone through the radio, gone through the chemo. And now she's worried about, how am I going to meet anyone? Last night, I spoke to a friend on the phone, and without thinking, I said, oh, this is probably the last time I'll speak to you. And I just burst into tears. She loses her hair and loses her voice. You've got to worry that you don't lose Sam. My life is going to be very different. Even though I'll still be me, Sam has only got another five days. Sam as we, you know, that we know. And after that, you know, it's a different Sam.